Clubs that feature in the FUFA Women's Super League are in the market currently to recruit new players who fit in their season objectives before the league kicks off on the 17th of September. However, the departure of goalkeeper Daisy Nakazero from Uganda Matters Women Football Club has raised concerns from the club owners, alleging that her new club destination, Kampala Queens, did not contact them in the transfer decision for their shortstopper. So for us, we are not happy as a club. We are not happy and uh, strictly I am not happy because their management uses the gesture of um, national team because they are so co much connected to the federation. So whoever wants to play at the national team has to sign for Kampala Queens. Nakazero's transfer deals have had regular hiccups. In her move to join Uganda Matters from Lady Doves, she terminated her contract with the club, which saw Uganda Matters pay all the areas that she owed Lady Doves on FUFA orders. So we sat her down and we agreed that um, probably she would sign this coming season because there were only four games so there was no sort of contract you'd give to such a player. So we had a mutual understanding between us and the player and I think that is very admissible in courts of law. Fofa says they are currently awaiting for the list of Kampala Queen's players to intervene in the matter. It is good to be preventive but it is also good for us to provide a mechanism if an issue arose and was not prevented. The Federation has also highlighted on the rules that govern transfers. In a professional setting, a player must have a contract with the club that is using them or they are playing for. So one of the provisions there says you must have a contract, a written document that specifies the terms under which you will be playing with a given club. That same contract must contain the duration for how long and that duration must not be less than half a season. FUFA has also advised club administrators on ensuring that all the players are legally contracted. However, Uganda Matters think that this is nowhere near the possible solutions unless clubs learn to respect each other. Especially those, uh, uh, those that are schools, that uh, if you offer a bursary to a player and because of the bursary they have to play for you in a football club, the bursary terms must be translated or should be translated into a footballing contract. Yes, we have 10 clubs competing, but how many clubs can pay a million shillings? Because, okay, yes, we say these are girls, these are women, they spend less, eh? but now we would say let us be able to give them a million shillings. How many would be able to give them a million? Because then they are starting at a level of a professional. At least that is the basis of a professional. Eh? So if we cannot give that money that exceeds what they need in their general life, then we are not dealing with professionals. We are lying to them, we are not telling them the truth. Nakazero is not the first player to leave a club in a conflicting way. At the beginning of last season, Margaret Kunihira left Kawempe Muslim to Kampala Queens without her former club's notice. 